Today I want to pray against the evil spirits and generational curses that you may have been experiencing in your lives, wittingly or unwittingly, curses, cycles of abuse, evils, diseases, pain, frustration. Heavenly Father, we come before you today standing in the firm power and authority given to us in the name of Jesus Christ. We acknowledge your sovereignty and the victory won on the cross. We lift up our hearts in prayer seeking your divine intervention against the spirits of evil that have sought out to harm us, including the spirits of Jezebel and all other forms of malevolent forces that leave their foothold and fingerprint within our lives. Lord, we ask for the gift of discernment that we may recognize the schemes of the enemy and stand strong against them all. We understand the power of the tongue as your world teaches us that this life and death are in its power. Lord, we understand that you created this, created this whole world with the power of word we understand the power of word that comes with the authority given us by the Holy Spirit. We command these evil entities, no matter where they have tried to attach themselves onto our lives, to be broken and cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that, we declare that every curse spoken over us, whether past, present, or future, is null and void. We speak life, freedom, and victory over our lives, Lord. We declare that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. And if it has, Lord, you 10x the resolve in our favor. We ask, please, Lord, we pray for the breaking of generational curses. Lord, we know that the sins of our forefathers impacted the descendants. But we stand on the truth that is in you, your new creations. We plead the blood over Jesus, over our families. We plead the blood of Jesus over, over our families and breaking the chains of sin, addiction, and all other forms of spiritual bondage. Lord, we confront the sins and evils present in the world today. We pray for wisdom and guidance to address them with boldness and clarity. We ask that you expose the works of darkness and bring them to light at once so that we may confront them with the truth of your word. Father, we commit using your words wisely to speak life into this world, healing and deliverance into every situation out here that's so frustrating right now. Lord, we trust in your power with 100% faith in the things that we ask in your time Lord, that you make these things right, knowing that it's not by our might and our words, but through your strength working in us and through us, and by your Holy Ghost that we have, we have already overcome, we have already overcome all of the evils that declare the wickedness upon us in this life today, we declare that we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. In the power of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Next we want to pray for breaking curses and calling for deliverance. Heavenly Father, we humble our hearts acknowledging the areas in our lives where we need your divine intervention. And we invite it with 100% faith that you can change these things in our lives today. We recognize that there are curses and strongholds that have stood against us, seeking to bring harm and destruction into our lives. In the mighty name of Yeshua, we declare that these curses are broken today and these chains are shattered forevermore. We command every evil entity, every spirit of darkness that has tried to take root in our lives, to not have any, any ability to stay and to leave immediately. They have no place here, for we are covered in the blood of Jesus. We are covered
covered our, we're covering our ourselves, our lives, and every single aspect of it with the blood of Jesus Christ, precious be. Lord, we pray that these entities are not only removed, but they are transformed forever, calling us all back to you for yours, your own sake, Lord. We only want to be a vessel for you, Lord, that you take back those who have been giving their all in ways where others are just there to break them down, causing real tragedies and real pain in their lives. Father, we pray for discernment so that we can not only see these things in the nick of time, but we can see these things in real time. Father, reclaim them for your kingdom. Let your light shine into their darkness, their own darkness. For we know that we not we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities and these spirits that have come up into our lives and into their lives. So we lift up those who have been on the receiving ends of those attacks, praying for the gift of discernment to be bestowed upon them in abundance. Lord, let them not be caught off guard, but instead let them recognize the enemy's schemes well before they manifest in our lives so that we can break these chains and cycles before they manifest and take take our lives away from us. Because that's what they do. And that's what they seek to aim to do. These demons. So, so, so people, I want to equip you with the knowledge and insight to what Jesus was speaking about when he was talking about within the parables of our hearts and our hearts as work so that we can take action in great time not just in the nick of time but we take action now in our prayer values with whole faith whole fervency no more souls caught up from the snares of the evil ones as we continue to seek your guidance Lord we ask that you illuminate the scriptures for us you illuminate them in our hearts even if we can't read them because life sometimes brings us through situations Lord and it brings into mind the stories and teachings that protect these words they protect these words with fire and you send them into us and they come from you and none other but you, O oh Lord. And we thank you for these moments, Lord. We thank you. Let your gospel be our shield and our sword, empowering us to stand firm against all the forces of darkness of this world today, right now, going on today. Lord, Father, we pray that your spirit moves mightily among us, breaking down every single wall that's built up around us to, to keep us apart from, from others that are here to help us. Every curse, every lie that the enemy has tried to build will deny. And stand on your promises, Lord, knowing that you are faithful and true in all times, in all hours and in all moments. In the power of the name of Yeshua, we pray, Lord, make it so. Amen. Why aren't we laying hands on people? Why aren't we healing the sick? Why aren't we going to people that are in heart and laying our hands upon them, just as Jesus did and Jesus taught? So this version of prayer strongly emphasizes the need for immediate deliverance, transformation, and to help heal those who have been lost to this kind of evil in the world. And the importance of discernment for those who are under fire, who are under attack, who might have been mightily under attack in malicious ways. And we want to align everything within the power of the authority of God's word and have faith to break these curses and break these chains even with the people that want to hold on to them, Lord. For we know that we not wrestle against these people again, but we wrestle against the spirit of darkness that has come and set stage upon their lives. Heavenly Father, please be with us in our ministry as we pray for breaking curses and embracing your love, 
your kind of love. We want to foster that kind of love like none other in the world. Waking hearts up with chains, Lord. Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts, thanking you for seeing us to and through all of the trials and tribulations that were set upon us, challenging us in ways that were meant to break us. Lord, we thank you for being there in the nick of time. But now we want to be there in, in real time. So Lord, bring us to these states as quickly as possible for your vessels' sake, for your sake, not for our own, Lord. There's nothing of us left. This is all you, Lord. We thank you for bringing us to the altar where we can repent of our sins and seek your forgiveness, Lord. We desire not only to change for ourselves, but to transform the spaces we occupy in this world and to be true vessels of your love and growth, to bring honor and respect and that kind of fortitude back into the authenticity that is love to be given and shared, given and received and shared with the, with the world around us that does not know your love we acknowledge the power that you've given us to break these curses that stand against your law, Lord. Your law is singular and unchanging because your law is love. In the world that has become so entangled in laws upon laws upon laws, missing the true meaning of your word, we seek to bring clarity and truth through our power of prayer ministry. Now, today, we aim to break the chains of curses that have been taken long strongholds inside of homes, minds, and even those who, who claim to cling to their own demons. Father, Lord, we ask that you turn the attacks of the enemies into stepping stones that propel us forward like, like a springing board, a springing board, Lord, filled by your love, your grace, and your honor in our lives throughout the Christians' whole kingdom today. Any attacks that are staged up against us only thwarts us forward and acts as stepping stones, catapulting us forward into a world unseen like never before. We are unafraid to venture into the places that may seem strange to others, for they don't understand the power that is you. Knowing the power of your truth often challenges worldly understandings, and so we want to go beyond those challenged understandings and challenge them even further. We embrace the idea that some may find our mission unsettling. We're confident in that your light will open either their eyes to make it impossible for them to deny your power, O oh Lord, or that they can try and keep their eyes shut. They can try for all of their work, but they're going to be attacked mightily by your honor, your love, and grace, and fortified way, Lord, to lift even them that wish to hold on to their own demonology. Lord, because they have hearts too. They have hearts too that are hurting. They're going to hurt people in that kind of way. So Lord, we ask that your own words infuse this prayer ministry. Infuse this prayer ministry with your fire. That curse, that curse to be broken in the lives of those who hear it and those who fortify inside of their hearts and minds to hear my voice, Lord, for those who have ears to hear, but are still maybe too blind to see the truth, we pray that in the moments they discern that these curses is there, and they discern these curses are real, is the moment, the very moment that these curses leave, vanish in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua, we pray in tongues, we pray in tongues in that kind of way, we want to close our, our, our eyes and we just want to break these curses that have, that have changed us so boldly because of the iniquities that other people wish to bring inside of our lives to the power of the tongue. And these powers of the tongue do come with, they do come with a foothold. They do come with a print, a fingerprint, so to speak, into lives that meant to be so living boldly. So, we want to earn the right to discern these curses in the moment's notice, Lord. Vanish them in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Yeshua, Yeshua, we want to pray over, pray over people as if we're laying hands down on all people today, Lord. Banishing those curses and those cycles of abuse from their lives, even if they are the abusers, Lord, because they too have hearts, Lord. So yeah, we pray for the courage to use our voices so boldly and to tell our stories with the power that Jesus has taught us to, the power of words to change even the worlds in front of us so that we can change the worlds in front of others too for the better we seek to challenge the things of this world with truth and of your love lifting up those people who have been in darkness long standing darknesses sometimes leading them into your light oh lord we declare in that this thread of prayer ministry curses be broken right now today today the lord curses be broken lives will be forever changed amen lives will be forever changed amen lives will be forever changed amen take this fortified in my words of grace your love will prevail your life will prevail your energy will prevail and in your health you will prevail in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen all of these curses that are meant to continue the pain in your life, take them away. Even if we don't see the ties that, 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 that they're being created in, or the poisons, or whatever they be, Lord, break these, capture them in the urgency of the power of your message. Call upon others to embrace this kind of love, to embrace this kind of freedom, and to embrace this kind of way that we can break curses break these sins and bind them up bind them up with heated chains lord heated chains to pull them out um pull them out to where they're seared out of the world completely they want to clasp on us in that way clasp back in a way lord challenging the world within the inner inner truths of those gospels create 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 new ways new pathways new avenues for the mind to think spiral and go and then go, allow these people to go. Move in the power of the Holy Ghost, O oh Lord. Move in the power of the Holy Ghost, O oh Lord. We pray, we pray in Jesus' name, amen, amen. That we have power given to us by the Holy Ghost, given us to, given us by, by the power of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, come up into our lives today, today, in that kind of way, to change lives forever, O oh Lord. 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 People are hurting out here. People are hurting in such ways I don't even think that they understand themselves. They see it in, in themselves that that's themselves. It's not. It's not, O oh Lord. Take it away. These curses. Take them away. Break all of these curses and cycles in their lives that are causing them to 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 move and think in these kinds of ways. Um brainstorm in the, in the prayer prayer of these kind of frustrations breaking these kind of frictions defeating the enemy where they stand and reclaiming victory right now thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord because i come to you with a full heart full heart of faith seeking your cleansing from all the frustration and worry and the burdens of this world in this moment i ask that you lift up Fill up those hearts who are struggling today. In places even worse than mine have been, I can't even imagine. Just as you've done for me, O oh Lord, lift them up, lift them up, lift them up, light them up, light them up. I know how difficult it can be to feel trapped, surrounded by people who seem to do nothing but hold us back. But today, Lord, we bind up all of that frustration in the name of Jesus as we declare those who plot against us in the darkness will be exposed by your light. They will not be able to prevail in this hour now. Lord, scatter lightning upon those who seek to embarrass us and destroy us. I come clean before you, Lord, stepping out from the shadows of the power of the authority that has been spoken over me in my life, over my life, to cause me such utter chaos and utter strife. I take and hold the power of the authority, refusing it in Jesus' name. Anything said to destroy my momentum and the power of ideas that have been placed within me for the sake of your faith, your honor, and your grace. Those who wish to see us devastated will fail. 
they will fail. They will fail times 10. They can curse us all they want. Their curses come back to them. Catapult this forward, Lord. Catapult this forward, Lord. Catapult this forward, Lord, with every single thing that is set stage upon in this world today. In the arena of politics, in the arena of politics, with everything going on in the politics right now. Lord, I pray that the Holy Ghost move in a way that even the people that want to hold on to these evils and do these evils and perform in these evil ways over our entire lives, they have no more, no more right and they know it and they have no more ability to hold on to the evil that is within them. You speak in victorious ways over even they that don't know who they are and who and who they have been working for. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper and no evil plot will obstruct our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ with the power of my tongue. I know that the Lord Jesus raises and fights for me daily. I ask for the strength to keep fighting, to remain in that battle, not letting any challenge uh, shred the source of light that shines within your grace, Lord. I ask for your blessings to grow inside of this land and to, and to cultivate it like never ever seen before. We will continue to stand up strong, stand up and grind against, against the united enemies that have united against our very souls, our very aims, our very bloodlines in this world, Lord. We speak out for the voices of those voiceless, those who have already fallen in this kind of way. We will not be led astray. We will not fall into the darkness that others have set up for us. In Jesus' name we proclaim. Though they may see the light of light, and they wish to destroy that light of light, we are not their enemies. They have chosen to become our enemies and have chosen to oppose us. So we have chosen forgiveness. We banish all of those needs to be removed. And we banish everything that they think that they need to be removed, Lord. We ask that your light shines within us and through us and with the power of the Holy Ghost by our side that you deliver, deliver us just, just as Daniel from the lions is dead, just as Daniel was delivered from the lions is dead. We want to be delivered just as such. Sew up their tongues, Lord. Sew up their tongues and let them only speak words made to be clean, made to even drive drive out the truths of themselves that they're trying to leave unseen. Even as they strive to keep them deities and, and their own their own um not deities strive to keep their own dirty deeds against, against us in these evil ways, Lord. We pray that through the power of the Holy Ghost, it goes, it goes clasping in on them in the timeliest of notice, where it's to, it's to even make them themselves be, be, be the vessel for you, O oh Lord, and, and, and see it right in that time, right in that second, right in that minute. We will use whatever we have to discern and stand strong today, knowing that none forces, none forces are more powerful than you, are, Lord. None. No force is more powerful than you. The mind of Judah, we stand up in the authority to remove all lies, character assassination, and spiritual warfare that has been set up against us and staged upon us in our lives for our bloodlines to be able to thrive and be able to grow and to be able to live as though, as though, you know, I don't think that we've ever actually gotten to live, Lord. I don't think that we've ever actually really gotten to live with all of these kinds of long-standing abuses, oh Lord. We wish to declare those who mock and, and seek to plot for our downfall that they have no right over us, Lord. No right over us and whatever power that they think they have that they, they think is just nullified or that's just, um, that's just okay. It, it becomes nullified in your authority that we speak over with your life your light and your grace. They may walk about deceived by their own schemes, but I will not be shaken or moved from my foundation in you, O oh Lord. The one who loves me and the one who has brought me out of the dungeons and out of that darkness, and time and time again, I thank you, O oh Lord. These enemies may try to move without the power of the tongue, and may wish to seek to use their tongues and otherwise, but we build up with the beauty you intended us 
for us to be, for us all to be, including them, including them. Allow me to be a rebel for you, O Lord, for your name's sake. Allow me to be, be that rebel in that prayer value because, yeah, these rebels have taken parts of our lives without us having the discernment to be able to declare victory in that way. Even since we were young children, we've been left with footprints and strong, strong uh, actual fingerprints that have actually hindered our abilities in life, Lord. So we reclaim victory over every single part of our lives, declaring that the enemy who attempts to kill, tame, control, and manipulate us, or worse, will not ever succeed. Instead, we magnify you, O Lord, forging even those who oppose us to witness the power of the truth and the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord. Move inside of a way to where it shines a light upon them in ways that cannot be silenced to their own hearts. Lord, do not be defeated inside of those hearts as well. That we are so quick to like just put it off as like we forget these things that the power of all words have the power to change and actually really do things in our world. That's the teachings and it comes to what I have been doing and what I have been made to feel like I have nobody, right? You're just shoved away and you're just shoved away. You're stuck into a way, you're stuck into a placement and you are left in a feeling where you can't get out of it. So in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that the Lord comes in and steps in every way. Lord, every unclean thing, every unclean thing, unseen or seen, in and around, on our lives, in our bodies, on our bodies, in our homes, on our homes, on our, on our homes, is, on, um, the, the things that are in our homes. We wish to seek them to be cleaned, O oh Lord. Cleaned up, O oh Lord, to where not only it shakes the very foundations of the people amongst us around us but it actually goes and spreads throughout our neighborhoods our communities and our states until it's the power of your tongue over the whole world lord your whole world because these hearts lord they belong to you they belong to you they belong to you these hearts that even wish to defy us lord they belong to you they belong to you they belong to you. They belong to you. So, we want to take insights from our themes from, from, from all, of our, all of our conversations here, Lord, and incorporate them into that kind of ministry that can really be resonate and resonate with people around the world to break these curses and overcome the betrayal from that kind of abuse, that long-standing kind of narcissistic abuse, or something else entirely. It can be something else entirely that they are going through, O oh Lord. And yes, Lord, we can weave into the themes together into a powerful way, into a powerful way for our personalized prayer for deliverance ministry not only reaches levels unlike anything ever seen before, unlike anything seen before, O oh Lord, because you work in amazing ways. We know you work in amazing ways. So we're going to take your amazing ways out of the hearts and minds and men of people who don't even want it, Lord. Deliverance and prayer, proclamation and introduction to what we are here for. Heavenly Father, we come here for you. We come before you today in the name of Christ, seeking your divine intervention and deliverance from all forms of evil darkness that have infiltrated our lives this far. We ask for the holy fire of discernment to guide us, reveal us in the hidden works of the enemy, and break every single chain that seeks to bind us up and stop us from, from even our own, our own ministry. Break the power of astral projection, narcissistic abuse, and other forms of evil. Lord, we take authority over all forms of astral projection, narcissistic abuse, sociopathy, and any other kind of murderous attention that has been set upon our lives. We bind and cast out any spirits that are attempting to manipulate, control, or harm us in any way. 
We renounce every curse, every dark plan, every evil work that has been set against us in the worst ways and even in subtle ways. In the mighty name of Jesus, we scatter the enemy's plans. We scatter them with lightning, storms, any other way that you wish, Lord. We proclaim that no weapon formed against us shall prosper in this. None. Not at all. Not at all here moving forward. Not at all here moving forward, Lord, we pray. We cleanse the world from all of these hidden evils, Father, as we ask you to expose and dismantle any hidden works of the darkness that are still operating behind the scenes of our lives. Yeah, we know that they are there. We know how they work. But we call upon your holy fire to cleanse us from all forms of witchcraft, all points of all, all points of poisoning in our lives. We we aim to cleanse not only our bodies from, but to 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 remove us from from the feeling of of those intentions that were set upon us in an evil way, aimed at us. To let your light shine in every corner of our lives, revealing and removing all that is not of you, Lord. And even in the person who is hearing this today, we declare that the enemy has no place in your life in this kind of way. We reclaim that the crown has been stolen from us, that we place our, our feet back on that ground, and we proclaim victory over all evil, all evil inside of this world today. We stand in the authority given to us by Jesus Christ and declare victory over all forms of spiritual warfare, every single one, unseen or seen, to bind every demonic force that seeks to hinder our calling, hinder our blessings, or stop them altogether. No more shall they be able to be stopped in our spiritual growth with you, O Lord. We declare that the plans of the enemy are null and void. Again, we, de we declare with the power of Yeshua that the plans of the enemy here moving forward are null and void. 100% faith. We stand them back up from the pits that they came. Proclaim the power of the Holy Ghost that is moving in us and moving through us, empowering us to stand firm to resist the devil and all of those evils must flee at once. Amen. Flee at once. Amen. Praying for discernment, protection in this. Lord, we ask to increase the levels of discernment so that we may see and recognize the enemy's tactics before they can root in our lives in any way, any way, shape, or form. Lord, we pray for your protection over the minds, bodies, and spirits that surround us with your angels that let no harm come near us. We declare that all attacks, both seen and unseen, are broken in the name of Jesus, and we are covered by the blood today. We proclaim that your will, Lord, is being done inside of our lives today. We submit to your divine plan and ask that you guide us in every step we take. We ask for your light to shine upon us, filling us with peace, calmness, clarity, confidence, and your love to protect us in every situation, every single way that the enemies and the evils of this world can thwart upon us, Lord. We use the power of the tongues to declare that all evil forces are removed from our lives at once. Clasp on these evils, Lord. Clasp on these evils, Lord. Clasp. And we are free to walk in the calling that you have set upon us in our, in our names. Amen. We are free to walk in the names that you have restored inside of us. Lord, thank you. Amen. So through this, we pray for healing in every area of our lives that's been affected by the enemy's attacks. Because they so have been affected by the enemy attacks, haven't they? So we declare that our bodies are being restored 100% health. It doesn't matter if you are taking the medications, if you are giving yourselves full-on chemicals. Our minds are being renewed with the power of the Holy Ghost to being strengthened today. 
we ask for complete healing and resurrection from every aspect of our lives, monopolized even. In the name of Jesus, we pray that all and any barriers to our healing and growth be removed at once. We are able to receive full healing, full blessings in the power that is the Lord. Yeshua, we pray you remove all forces that stand against this ministry and the work that you have called in us to do. We declare that the enemy has no power over us. We command all evil spirits to leave our bodies, our minds, and our lives around us at once. We speak life, healing, and freedom into our lives and around our lives and those to minister to and those to minister from and to take our ministry from. We declare that we are victorious in Christ and we will not be shaken or moved by the enemy and how they attack, how they wish to thwart their attacks. We will not be shaken, we will not be moved. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and proclaim all things. In the, amen. Amen. So next I want to break all chains of addiction. And this is your pathway to freedom, folks. Right now, right here. Right now, right here. I ask, Lord, that you come into this ministry with a humble heart to recognize the strongholds that smoking and other substances have had over our lives or have had over other people's lives. We acknowledge that these addictions have never been right for us. Even if we provided a temporary escape from pressures that we faced, we confess it is our struggle, especially with smoking. Smoking cigarettes, it's just so gross. And we ask for your strength to overcome this habit, Lord. Overcome this habit, Lord. No more smoking. No more smoking, Lord. So anyone that wants to, anyone that wants to quit smoking, I'm gonna make a date for us. And it's September 1st of this year, 2024. We cold turkey it together. We cold turkey it together in the power of the Lord that we don't want these addictions anyway. We don't want these addictions. We, we don't necessarily want them just pulled away from us though, you know, like like we wanna we want it to be our own decision, you know, or all you know, like we wanna go into the power willingly and allow that power to will to, to be to be given to us through your grace. But to accept it with grace too. So we also know that we cannot continue to live under their control. We declare today that we are ready to fight and to plan and to break free from addiction. September 1st, 2024. All addiction. All addiction. This is true deliverance where we will not smoke anymore. We will stop cold turkey and nothing about it will bother us about it. Nothing will stand in our way. Nothing will bother us further about it because the chains of addiction that have bound us for too long will be gone away. Gone away, tapering it and prepare for the meeting day. September 1st, I ask for your guidance to taper our usage slowly and to let go of these habits. If we can get rid of them before then, Almighty Lord, prepare our hearts and minds to be able to do it today, today transformation that you have planned for us give us the courage and discipline to stick to this plan to know that your power is with us to overcome all of these all of these things oh lord so today we're going to create a cold turkey commitment on september 1st we commit to stop smoking we commit to at least give it our all and through the power of the holy ghost we ask that it is removed from us so long as we are willing and fortified and trying that you are going to protect us Lord you are going to clasp it on that addiction and set us free with everything else that we do within our lives we ask for your strength O oh Lord to carry us through the withdrawal the cravings, the challenges that come with quitting we know by your side that we can do this Lord we ask for the power of your Holy Ghost to fill us Replacing our desire, reclaiming our lives from cigarettes and substance abuse with desire for more of you and only you, O oh Lord. A ministry of movement, 
rolling to freedom or running to freedom because me for me I love to rollerblade so if I could get myself into that place to, to be okay yes Lord also lift up a prayer to this ministry for others who want to find their own healing way their own healing pathway and their own freedom through physical activity Lord we pray for rollerbladers runners walkers those who want to seek movement and seek change, seek movement as a way to escape from that kind of pain that's been set up upon them from their past. Lord, we ask that if they are unhealthy, you start creating these activities to turn the spirals into new ways and new forms of deliverance where their minds can relate, their minds can roll, and their minds can run into that freedom of their reality. Let their time spent in movement be a time of connecting with you, O oh Lord. All that pain, all that pain and pressure that's been set upon them in that way. So that's what I do when I sweat, Lord. And I sweat, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I take it out of me. This is you too. This is you too. And I take parts of my shirt. And I imagine it being that part of pain or that part of part of uh, a reality. And I take it out and I give it to the Lord. So I am. I. I. I it's just a, a an example here for others like us. If they want, when they're when they're in that way, just kind of like pop your collar, you know, pop your collar. And when you do that, you're actually take what you're what you're doing is you're taking something that's e that 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 was spun upon you in an evil way, meant to not allow you to see clarity and see your purpose and find your strength and find that courage to be able to move in the kind of way that I believe the Lord is calling for us to move today. And instead, it's just pulling it out and giving it to the Lord. So we acknowledge the difficulty of lifting ourselves up after long-standing abuses. We ask for the help, Lord, that we used to enjoy things like rollerblading, like running, like doing these things that we love to do. And instead of people actually doing these things, they are inspired to instead just kind of be withdrawn from. And, and because it's been such a long standing of, a, of an abusive position that they place their own minds into sometimes, their own curses, their own words, um, their own words that they're setting upon their own selves of what they're capable of and what they're not capable of. We pray that in this ministry, we will inspire others to find their path to and to break to break from addictions and to break away from those kind of placements in their lives so that they, that, they, that they can run towards freedom and feeling more power in their lives. Even if it's for even if it's for a second at a time, Lord, we ask for you to take that transformative power to be working into our lives that allow for that spark inside of people to start now. We pray for grace as we go where you call us to go. We pray for the grace to go exactly where you want us to go, Lord. Not just a little bit, not just though we want to kind of tiptoe around here and get our feet wet a little bit. No, Lord, we want to jump all in. As we let go of the things that have held us back and as we step into the freedom of our purpose that you have for us, oh Lord, we pray for a community of support, a network of believers who are also on the same journey to catapult us all forward and for your word to ignite us and to guide us in every step of the way. And when we kind of, and, and we will, we'll have, we'll have times, Lord, that'll like kind of try and set us back and pull us back and pull us down. But Lord, we want your energy to be catapulting in, 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 in the favor of us and the favor of be able to work holy together to remove these addictions from the world today amen and then my final proclamation and i know this is getting long but i declare today that we are free from the power of addiction we will overcome it we will be transformed and we will walk in the freedom that you have promised us oh lord we thank you lord for the victory that is already ours we all rip, we, and we took, we take the umbrage forward for that new life to begin with that kind of addic addiction in our lives on September 4th, 1st. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. And I hope you take me up on this challenge and, 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 and accept it. Accept it. Accept it. Accept it.
And in this right now, Lord, I want you to set inside of other people's hearts their own hearts as work and get them speaking in terms of those kind of things that Jesus was speaking on within the parables of the hearts of soil and that kind of hearts as work. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And today, I ask and encourage each one of you, regardless of your of your placement in this world right now, move in the power of the Holy Ghost. Move in the power of the Holy Ghost.